Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this very classic Christmas holiday look that you see right here. I really wanted to do the fox eye trend or cat eye look with this because I always do a similar look to this every single year in this way. It would be something a little bit different, a little bit outside of my comfort zone from what I normally do, and it would just put a little twist on things. So I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys enjoy following along. I do walk you through this look step by step on how to create this look and create this shape to the eyes. So yeah, I hope you like it, please subscribe and let's get started. So to start out this look, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, one of my favorites. And put this all over the skin so that my foundation can stick to it and last a little bit longer. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I have this in the shade 220N. So I'm going to put two pumps on the back of my hand. I'm actually going to be using the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques to blend this in. Organize my whole filming room and beauty space here where I organize or where I just like store all my makeup and stuff. And I came across this brush and totally forgot that I had it. So I thought I would use it today. This is one of the most beautiful foundations. It gives such a nice finish to the skin. For concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the Pat McGrath Sublime Concealer. Let's bring this here. I'm gonna use my Sigma F03 brush to blend this in. The under eyes. Just give it nice full coverage. I'm gonna bring this right up on the lash line. Normally I kind of just leave that area blank cause I go in with like a ton of eyeshadow. But today I really wanna do a cat fox eye elongated eye look. Getting under there, I'm looking up while I wiggle this under the lashes. I'm gonna go in with a cream highlighter. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have the shade number two. They have a bunch of different shades. I'm gonna go on the high points of the face. You really don't need much of this. I just do little dots like that. And then I'm just gonna go in and blend it in. Just gives such a nice, pretty glow. A little bit on the forehead, not much. And I feel like that just brings a lot of life back to the skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my normal routine of setting my face, which is going in with the Makeup Forever H104 powder and then the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I put the H104 powder underneath my eyes and I use the Laura Mercier powder right on the sides of my nose, middle of my forehead, just my T-zone and wherever I get oily. I'm gonna go and bronze my skin. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. It looks like this, it's such a beautiful bronzer. It gives like a radiant glow while still bronzing. So I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury brush and just stop bronzing up the skin. Very beautiful. I love a, an intense bronze on me though. If your complexion is similar to mine and you want to try a bronzer like this, but this is like way too intense, try the diffused bronze light. That is not as intense. To contour, I think I'm gonna use Bone Beige from MAC, which is this color right here. It's like one of their sculpting powders. I might add a little bit of the S116 from Makeup Forever. So I'm gonna go in with my Smith 112 brush and contour my Start here on the cheeks, bring it up on the sides of the forehead and the temples and connect. If you want this area to actually be wider, don't contour right here because that's actually gonna make it come in more like this. I am gonna hit it just a little bit with the S116. Just a little touch for just a little bit of extra shadow. Probably won't even notice, but. And then I like to go in with my bronzer brush and just kind of blend out the edges so I don't have any like harsh lines or at least not too harsh. I'm gonna go in with two different highlights just because one is more of like a traditional highlight and then one has glitter in it. I don't wanna put glitter everywhere. So I'm gonna go into Champagne Pop from Becca. This is one of the best highlighters. I feel like it works for so many different skin tones. So I'm gonna highlight here. It is very intense. Same thing to this side. And then with my finger, I'm gonna do the nose and the cupid's bow. 
right here and then take that brush and just blend that out. I'm gonna go into the How Many Carrots highlighter from Fenty. Look at this packaging, it's so pretty. I kept a box of this too, it's just so beautiful. So it's really hard to tell, but it's just like straight up sparkles and glitter. I think I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. So I'm gonna rub it here and then just dot it on the highlight and it's gonna add some sparkle and glitter right there. And it's a lot more subtle on its own but with that champagne pop underneath, it really, really pops. So I just want this here on the cheeks. I did not want it on the nose or anything. And I just think that's just so beautiful. For blush, I'm gonna go into Brilliant Nude from Hourglass. I used this yesterday and it was just so, so pretty. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this on today too. Gives a little bit of a sheen and it's kind of just like a pinkier version of the bronzer and contour products that I used. And now I can prime my eyeballs. I'm gonna go in with Painterly from MAC, my favorite. And I'm gonna put this all over my eyeball. Setting my eyelids with a little bit of powder. I really wanna do a very elongated look today and I just wanna do some neutrals because I just want to create a very classic Christmas look that you can wear all of the holiday season. I'm gonna use the Tarte Man Eater Palette which is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. So I'm gonna start with the color Purr which is this center shade here and I'm gonna use a Wayne Goss 16 brush so I'm gonna put that in there. I'm just going to start on the outer corner and start flicking this up and in onto the lash line. I'm just going to like follow my lash line and then flick it up and out. I'm keeping this right on the tip of the brush. Just kind of wiggling. And I'm following the bottom lash line too. When I wing it out, I'm not flicking this. I'm just following this line here. I'm gonna bring you this on the lid. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. I'm going to use a rougher 13 brush. I'm gonna go into that same per shade. And by using a more dense brush, I'm gonna get more pigment right where I want it to be. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm just flicking. So I'm not putting any pressure out here. I'm just keeping it here and flicking outwards. And then doing the same thing, bringing it on the upper lashes. I'm gonna go back in with the first brush and just kind of blend over that. So now I'm gonna go into the color Saucy and a Sigma LO6 brush. This is actually a lip brush. And I'm going to start creating a wing, again, following the lower lash line, not the upper, the lower. So I'm gonna put this right at the corner and then just go straight up following that line continuously this out all the way almost to where the eyebrow meets that angle and then picking up a little bit more and going about halfway and connecting it to the upper and kind of creating that little triangle there so you see that there making the triangle so now with whatever is left over on my brush I'm going to elongate that and continue to fill in the little triangle that we made, which is creating the wing just with shadow. So I'm gonna start in the middle of this triangle and just start flicking it up lightly, holding halfway down so that I'm not applying too much pressure. And then I'm gonna fill this in here with the shadow and then bring this on upper lash line having it be very thin towards the front and then get thicker and thicker towards the outer. I'm gonna go back into the other brush I was using and just blend this. And I'm avoiding this whole pointed area. I'm just blending right here and I'm not blending up into the crease. I'm just blending kind of like sideways and straight. Just like this, I'm not doing buffing, I'm just kind of wiggling diagonally. Now I'm gonna go in and deepen this up. I'm gonna go into Midnight with that same lip brush and just do what we've been doing. I'm only bringing this Midnight shade halfway with that line because I don't wanna bring this 
too far out and have too much dark all the way over here. I'm just not gonna bring that midnight shade all the way there. So I'm only bringing it to about here. And then creating that little triangle and filling it in. And I'm taking this and just stamping it right at the lash line, right where the lashes meet, making sure that's like barely any here on the inner. But I did touch just, just the slightest touch. And go in with the saucy shade that we just used and go right on top of it and blend out the edge. Just wiggle it. Don't bring it in the crease. We're staying right below the crease. I'm actually gonna take one of these fluffy brushes and go in with Passion and kind of just brighten up this whole upper part here and swooping it so that stays really bright. I am going to take that Midnight Shade on the LO6 brush and I'm going to follow the line now of my upper lash line here in the inner corner. I'm following that one because it's pointed down where this one is going up and just the tiniest amount. You can always make it bigger and always go less than you think. I'm just going to follow that here. Just like that and do the same thing to the other eye. Now I do need to sharpen it. I feel like it's a little bit too powdery, but I also know that sometimes when I try to go in and fix it, it ends up being just too much. The other thing too, when you're doing that inner corner area, don't think you have to point down. Just line that brush up with the lash line and it almost goes straight in like this and that's what's really gonna make it give that elongated effect. Doing the inner corner like this was always so difficult for me and I would always think like, oh, it needs to go down because it kind of gives that illusion, but then you kind of have it hooking downwards and that's not necessarily what you want. Just follow your natural shape, follow that upper lash line and think of it more as in rather than down. I'm actually gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna go into that passion shade and brighten up right underneath this. So it really, really pops. I'm also gonna take that all the way under the lash line to really brighten that up. I'm gonna take just a tiny little pencil brush and just carry this right here on the outer part of the bottom lash line. Just a little bit of that saucy shade and connect it to the wing here. I'm gonna use a little bit of the highlighter that I used on my face. I'm gonna highlight my brow with it. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Caution Mascara for this. Basically avoid the inner part of the lashes. And just really work on the outer. I'm actually grabbing these really small dainty ones from Velour called No Drama. And when I put them on, I'm keeping them right where the lashes meet the skin. And then on the outer part, I'm actually gluing them a little bit above the lash line so that they continue that lifted shape. Lifting those up and then keeping the inner part really far down. I'm really pinching the inner part of the lashes to make sure that they are just one with my lashes and just really, really close to the lash line on the inner part of the eye. I go into the Extended Play Mascara from MAC. I'm actually gonna hit those outer corners with this to make sure it's really going up and out over there. And then I'm very lightly just gonna hit the lashes just to give them some definition. For lips, I'm gonna go into my favorite lip combo at the moment. So my favorite red lip liner is Cherry from MAC. It's just the best. I'm going to line my lips and overline right up at the cupid's bow. Okay, so once it's outlined and overlined, I'm gonna take this on its side and just kind of feather it in on the edges. And then I'm gonna go into the Patrick Style lipstick and that's why she's late. It looks like this. This is one of the most beautiful formulas. It's kind of like a creamy, soft matte. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to apply this on the lips. It's just a nice, true red, kind of velvety. I 
kind of want to add a little bit of this. This is She's Not From Here from Patrick Ta. It's like a bright orange. Just in the center to see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Kind of just made it a little bit more like a brighter red. So this is the final look up close so you can see what it looks like. I'm very happy that I went in with that like orangey lipstick in the center just because I feel like it brought a little bit more of a cheerful vibe to the look. I don't know. And I feel like the warmth in the lip that I just added kind of just complements the warmth in the eyeshadow and makes that pop even more. I really like it. It's just such a nice classic Christmassy look. So that's everything you guys that completes this look and this tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed following along and I hope you're excited for this Christmas series that I'm doing I just thought it would be really fun to kind of go out with a bang this year I hope you guys enjoyed this look Let me know all of your tutorial requests or holiday video requests down below in the comments and make sure you check out the description box I will link every single product that I used in this video down below. But yeah, that's it Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.